Hi everyone, this is George Kinkov. I'm an amateur astrophotographer and in this video I'll tell you about the current alignment of planets in June 2022. I'll explain when and where you need to look if you want to see this alignment. A planet alignment occurs when planets are aligned in the night sky if we observe them from our planet Earth. Sometimes we also call it a grand planet alignment when there are many planets that line up in the night sky. I'm recording this video on Sunday, June 12th, and the grand alignment has begun already. You need at least two things to see this event. First, you need to find a good location where ideally you can see the horizon from the north, east to south. It doesn't matter where exactly you're observing from. It can be a dark sky or highly light polluted city sky. Planets are visible from everywhere. You just need an open horizon view. Second, you need to begin your observations something around an hour before sunrise. Waking up so early might be challenging for somebody, but believe me, the view is worth it. Right now you can see like Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn form the line in the sky. If you have an open view of the horizon on the east, you can look there around 30 minutes before sunrise and there is the chance you can spot the planet Mercury as well. It is one of the hardest planets to see because it doesn't go far from the sun in the sky. But each day during the months, Mercury will be rising higher and higher in the sky, so it'll be easier to see this planet. The best view of a grand alignment of planets will be open in the morning on June 24th. This year, the alignment is very special because all visible planets will be located in the sky in the same order as the light from the sun. As I know, the last time we could observe an alignment like this was in December 2004. The only thing last time there was no moon. And on June 24th this year, you will also see the moon right between Venus and Mars. As a reminder, you don't need any special equipment to see this alignment because uh, we can see most of our planets with naked eye. And now let's talk about planets Uranus and Neptune. Uh, they're actually also located in the same area of the night sky and if we look at the planet's position on June 24th, we'll find Uranus between Venus and the Moon and Neptune will be located between Jupiter and Saturn. The only thing you need is a binocular or telescope if you want to look at these planets. Now let me actually go outside and I'll show you a live view of planet's position in the night sky. Hope this part of the video will be helpful for beginners and help you to find planets in June. So if you want to find all the visible planets in the sky right now, uh, first of all you gotta look to the east part of the sky and you can start from looking for planets uh, Mars and Jupiter. If you look at the east you'll see these two bright stars and uh, the star on the left is planet Mars right here and the star on the right will be planet Jupiter. And if you want to find planet Saturn, you gotta do a kind of a line from planet Mars to planet Jupiter, and all the way to the right, you'll see planet Saturn. It's gonna be right over here. And you can pretty easily find planet Venus. Uh, you gotta do a line from planet Jupiter to planet Mars all the way down. Here you'll see a really, really bright star and this star is going to be planet Venus. Searching for planet Mercury was a bit challenging. I knew an approximate position where the planet had to be located, but I wasn't sure if I saw this planet or not. Mercury doesn't go far from the sun in the sky and it's not a bright planet. So if you're a beginner and you want to find Mercury, I would suggest using a binocular to do so. Eventually, my camera could catch Mercury. At the time of capture, it was located above the trees, and you can see how this planet almost blends into the background of the sky. Alright guys, I hope the last clip from outside was helpful for you, and now it is much easier to find all the planets in the sky. Of course, there is actually nothing really special about planet alignments, as they are pretty common for us. But in my opinion, an alignment like this is a good reminder for people to look up. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and please share this video with your friends and family members. I hope to see you in future videos, I wish you luck with planet observations and clear skies.